So right now I'm between classes here at UT uh, during the day, and I heard some pretty uh, interesting news today. Apparently the Big Ten Conference, who everyone knows is looking to expand, has reached out to the University of Texas to join them in the conference. Now, when I first heard that, I, I kind of laughed it off. I was like, okay, well, <laughs> it, it kind of looked like you know the little boy coming up to Mr. Texas saying, please, sir, would, would you like to come over to my house and play? But as I thought about it a little bit and as I've read more about it and listened to people talk about it, it may be a good move for the for University of Texas. Though I, I'm, torn, I, I'm torn on whether or not I want this to happen or not. Um, so I, don't, I really don't have an opinion on do I want the Horns to move there or not. But this video, I kind of want to talk about what this means for the university, what kind of pull this shows the university has, um, and what it could mean for the Big 12 if UT left. Now, if you think about it, the University of Texas moved to the Big 10. It would kill the Big 12 conference. Right now, everyone talks about the Big 12 as we have a two-team conference, Oklahoma and Texas. And then everybody else kind of fall to the wayside. Now, I, it, it's not, I'm not trying to not, you know, knock other teams or whatever, but let's face, it, let's face it. Those are the two teams that bring in the money for the conference. But if you really want to talk about it, there's really one that does, and it's Texas. Because for some reason, the Big Ten didn't reach out to OU. They reached out for the Horns. Because let's face it, guys. OU, great program. Uh, uh, has seven national titles. Texas has four. Okay, um, a team that's you know always a power or whatever, they don't move the dial like the Horns do. Whether or not you know whether you agree or not with the Texas Longhorns, you have to agree that Texas matters. The University of Texas football program matters all across the nation and probably also to the world. I mean, when you start comparing Texas and their pull to Notre Dame, in which I think personally, I think Texas um, right now has way more pull in this country than Notre Dame does. Because Notre Dame came down to San Antonio this past season. And there's a whole bunch of build-up for playing Washington State. Okay, Went to the Alamo Dome here and played that game. That thing wasn't even half full. If Texas goes to Baltimore or goes off some Northeast team to play some school, that place is sold out like that. They'll have their biggest crowd they've ever had. I don't, I don't even deny it. You know it's going to happen. So... If Texas did leave the Big 12, I think the Big 12 would really crumble. Because already the TV contract in the Big 12 sucks. I mean, you look at it, of course Texas and OU get their, get their games on TV. But when a game like Texas Tech versus Texas A&M is blacked out across the state, there's a problem there. Now, I'm not taking a shot at Tech or A&M. Because me personally, I love watching that game. As a Big 12 football fan, I like to see Tech versus A&M. Uh, no matter what the records are, no matter what anything, I like to see those two teams play. It's almost always a good game. There's a lot of bitter hatred between those two schools, and you'd like to see that. That game was blacked out this year. And that and Tech and A&M are one of the, if you want to talk, talk about in popularity amongst the Big 12 teams, they're in the upper echelon. But that shows you how far they are in popularity or whatever beneath Texas and OU. So now but you look at it, and of course the Big Ten is looked at, getting, you know, Syracuse and Rutgers, and they've made offers, I think, to Iowa State and Nebraska and whatnot. But, of course, Texas is the big draw. If Texas goes to the Big Ten, you think about it. you got Texas, Ohio State, Texas, Penn State, Texas, Michigan, and so on every year. You think about how much revenue that's going to bring in week in and week out. You think about that in the Big 12, you got Texas OU, always a marquee matchup. But after that, really, you know, Texas Tech's got to be good for that game to be really a, a big-time draw nationally. Um, Oklahoma State got to be a good team for that to be a nationally broadcast, you know, big-time game for the, the nation to want to watch. The Texas Texas A&M game that matters a lot to us here in the state. Huge rivalry for us. Outside this state, you know, I, it's probably like you know, I, I look at only way I can see it is with Georgia Georgia Tech. That's a huge rivalry in that state. I never watched that game. I could care less about Georgia-Georgia Tech. Uh, I know it's an in-state rivalry. If I get a chance, I'll watch it. But that really doesn't matter too much to me. And I'm guessing that's what it means to the nation. I don't know. You guys who are outside of Texas watching this, let me know what you think of the Lone Star Showdown between Texas and Texas A&M. Does it matter to you? Do you even care? Um, do, what, put it on a scale of Texas versus OU or Texas versus Ohio State. Would that matter to you as much? And there's also been talks of the fact that if UT did go 
to the Big Ten. There would have to be some kind of a package deal with A&M. And right now the Big Ten's saying they don't want A&M because what people are saying, this isn't me saying, on a national scale, A&M is irrelevant. Now, I'm not saying A&M as a program is irrelevant because A&M as a program has been good, you know, has historically been good. This season, once again, they they got a top 10 um, recruiting class. Part of the reason for that is A&M has a super loyal fan base. You know, if you go to A&M and you're an Aggie, you're an Aggie for life, you know, they breed Aggies and whatnot, and so they're going to have those loyal guys here in this state, great football players who are going to be Aggies no matter what. So they're not irrelevant as a football program. But on a national scale, compared to Texas, they don't match up. Also, you know, what I've been reading about with the uh, – with the television contract, let's be, and I was talking about you know, the, big, the Big 12, we all know as Big 12 fans, the Big 12 network and a lot of the stuff is, is garbage. I mean, you look at it compared to the others, it's pretty bad. If Texas went to the Big 10, they would get 12 to $13 million just off of TV contracts. That would pay for our coaching staff, which is the highest paid in the country. Um, that's pretty enticing. So, as I've said, I don't know... Uh, if this is a good move or what it would mean for it, it would it would hurt tradition. It would hurt those rivalries. I mean, yeah, we could play A and M and OU um, in the rec, in the uh, non conference schedule. We used to do that with uh, OU for years when we were in the Southwest Conference. They're in the Big Eight, um, but I do think that when we're both in the Big Twelve, it does mean more because there's a conference championship on the line or you know conference you know standings on the line. Texas versus Texas A and M. Historic, huge historic rivalry, and that one again would be uh, played, you know, back and forth uh, every other year or so forth. Tech would probably be left to the wayside. Oki State, Baylor, those teams, I don't think Texas would even look at. Just because, I mean, Texas Tech and Texas Tech, they have to be good for people in the nation to even look at them. When they're just average, like sometimes they are, nobody really cares. Texas, on the other hand, you know, it's one of those teams, you look at North Carolina right now in basketball. North Carolina is struggling, but everyone gets to, want to get their, wants to get their licks in because they know they're going to be back. Whenever Texas is struggling in football, everyone gets to, everyone wants to get their licks in because they know they're going to be back. Same with USC in football as well. So that's just the kind of program that that's so far. So guys, this is my question to you. First, I want and I want video responses because this is a huge this is a huge story today um, that just came out of nowhere. And at first, I didn't get much thought, but as I read more and listened to more and stuff, uh, it's really sounding like. This is a viable option for the University of Texas. I don't know when it would happen, how it would happen, or whatever. But I want you guys to, and I want, these are the kind of things I want to talk about. Is this a good move for Texas? Would you like to see this happen? What would this do to the Big 12 Conference if they lost their biggest television market? Because if you look at the net past national championships, you know, the SEC talked about being the best football brand, and they probably are right now. They, they, they are. They have the most quality teams in the conference. But they don't draw as much as Texas does. You look at the past uh, 10 national championships, the two highest rating national championships was this past year with Texas-Alabama and Texas-USC. I mean, when Ohio State played LSU, that thing dropped tremendously. And the year before was Ohio State-Florida, which was higher than the one with LSU. So the SEC, while, while having probably the best football there is, does not have the biggest draw to fans around the country like one school, the University of Texas. So, wh- tell me, wh- what do you think this will happen with Texas? Texas? I want to hear from Texas fans. I want to hear fans from Big Ten fans. I want to hear OU fans. All of, why do you think they're looking at Texas, but they're not looking at Oklahoma? Is it because they know Oklahoma won't leave, or because the Texas will bring in more money than Oklahoma will? And if that's the case, since OU has more titles, why is it that Texas is a better brand than OU? Also, the A&M thing. What, what do you think with A&M? Should they be brought in? Why do you think A&M's not on the same level nationally? Am I talking about football or whatever? Nationally, as the University of Texas. Why is, why is that brand so much more popular around the country than a lot of the others? And uh, also, you know, so I want to get y'all's take on it. Please, video responses. I want to make this discussion. I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this. So, Texas fans, I don't know what we need to do. Um, you know, we're not going to make decisions, but it is an interesting proposition. And it should be keep us interested uh, for the next couple of weeks, or you know, whenever they make a decision. So, hook 'em horns, Texas fight, and guys, please let me know what you think.